Hi. Hi. Welcome to Mike. And Nami Plus. I think this is our first talk video with your braces, Michael. So yeah. welcome, braces. Yeah. Pachi, 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 pachi. Today, we're going to talk about a topic that we get asked so much, which I think is good because I think being bilingual and keeping your mother tongue is something that's mm. important. Right. And um, this is specifically to our children. Are we teaching Galahad and Zeke Korean or do Galahad and Zeke speak Korean? That's one of our most frequently asked questions do they mm, just select words yes. not really no really limited wording so yes. like things like milk water grandma grandpa grandma grandpa for us to speak korean fluently we have to think for a long time about how to construct a sentence yeah. and which words to use when you're in a situation where you actually have to explain things to a child yes and you want to be thorough about it mm -hmm. and we are very thorough sometimes like to the exactly. point of lecturing like i don't think i would be able to lecture in korean i'd just be like no <laughs> we'd lose the moment <laughs> yeah it's like galahad you're gonna and then go i i would just say the most simplest of things yeah, and i wouldn't be able to explain. say like Galahad, in this situation, you know, we're yeah. in a public setting and right. this kind of behavior isn't very appropriate because it's rude to the people around us. Mm -hmm. You know, we're disturbing people. Like, how do you say that in Korean? I don't know. Because we can't do that. We just speak in English. Yes. And they don't spend a lot of time with our parents. And when they do, they speak English. And also partly where we live, there isn't really a Korean community close to where we yeah. live. There is, but many of Galahad's friends are not Korean are either. Are not Korean, yes. yes. So he actually thought he was Chinese for the longest time because all the Asians in his school are Chinese. Mm -hmm. So I think he's and the only Korean... There's many from Child. South Asia, Southeast yes. Asia. Yes. Do we plan to teach them? I'd love to. And there are paid classes. Yes. That so I, I don't think we have the confidence ourselves to teach them. Not, it's not even about the confidence. It's the knowledge to teach them. Yeah, or the or time the to learn ourselves. Yeah. Too. But I'd like to and learn. like grammatically too. Yeah. We do know a lot of vocabulary. <laughs> right. It's just sometimes we don't know the select vocabulary that we need. And then I think it's okay to grow up with Konglish too. Right. What's so funny though? I just thought about doing a video together all in Korean. Just us two. And we have to have an objective like... Oh, you to... mean like a challenge? Yes, <gasps> but it's only in Korean. Okay, give us some ideas of what kind of challenges we could do. But like <laughs> me and Michael only... Or Michael and I only speak in Korean. Galahad actually is old enough to register for some school classes for mm. language. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to register him for either Korean or Japanese. But we think at this point it might be better for him to learn Korean because his cousin speaks Korean. Mm -hmm. And right now they're having a lot of miscommunication mm -hmm. and language barrier issues. So that's... It's going to be starting in September, right? Yes. Yeah, I think it'd be great if he took that class and right. learned the basic Korean alphabet, learned yeah. certain vocabulary in Korean, and I think that'll encourage me to speak more mm -hmm. with him in Korean because we could still teach them in Korean, not teach them Korean and parent in Korean mm. and raise them in Korean. We can't teach them Korean because we're going to teach them all wrong. I know some of you only speak English, but are there any other bilingual or trilingual or quadrupolingual or quantupolingual people out there? Please let us know what languages you speak at home or that you've learned over the years. Um, if you plan to teach them to your own children or mm. if you were taught a certain language growing up. I'm so bad with languages. I'm such oh, a yeah. slow learner. You watched a whole drama series. Yeah, so I watched an entire Korean drama series. What was it? It was called Pari e Yenin? <laughs> Pari e Yenin, or. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> Paris. Pari e oh. Yenin. <laughs> Yenin! It was called Lovers in Paris. So in Korean, it's. Ain? Pari e Ain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it now. And then it was fourteen episodes, fourteen okay. hours, and I started watching it because I wanted to learn more Korean. <laughs> and I on I only learned learn one word. It's called chirtu, chirto, chirtu, whatever, and it means jealous. Oh. And that was on like the last episode or something. Everything I do, I learn something very slow. Yeah. And uh, the long way around. 
Yes. You're doing so, well. Good job. Pretty sad over here. Pretty sad. 그래도 한국말 좀 연습하고 애들이랑 좀 말하고 어좀 지내자 어 오빠야 어. <laughs> <laughs> why are you being so shy? Ha 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 ha. I never call him Opa. That's why. I always call him Michael. 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 오빠야. 한국말 So thank you to everyone who asked us this question because I think it is important for us to talk about. Mm. And if you do like talks like this, we do more of these kind of talks. We also do lots of family vlogs with the kids. So definitely make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. And click that bell notification to be part of our Nacho Fan. Da-da-da. <laughs>